God through her intercession. May God answer you. And I pray that today, as we celebrate the Virgin Mary, that Jesus, her son, will celebrate you. That whatever obstacle you have been you have been encountering in your life, that Jesus will fight your battle. As a child was rescued from the hand of serpent or dragon with seven heads, I pray that somebody will be rescued today. No demonic attack upon you. In any way they rear their ugly head, through the prayers of our Blessed Virgin Mary, may demons be terrorized in your life. I pray that any shrine, any digital worship and incantation now, made on your behalf or over your family, that it will never stand for you in Jesus' name. And lastly, I tell you, Virgin Mary is here. She has heard your cry. She will take your prayer to Jesus. You can never go to him without going through her. If you go through her, you are having a visa to Jesus. I pray as I had it. And during the one of the masses at Lourdes, Our Lady of Lourdes at France, a boy wa was blind. A blind boy was brought by the mother. As the, as the mother brought him, he was not seen. He had a loud noise, just like the noise that was made when Bartimaeus in Mark chapter 10 found out that Jesus was there. So the boy asked the mother, why are they making this noise? The mother told the boy that now they are raising Jesus. It was consecration at the grotto of Lourdes, of Our Lady of Immaculate Conception at Lourdes. And then, the, the, as the mother told the boy, the noise was as a result of ovation. People who are acknowledging the presence of Jesus. And the boy asked the mother, I thought we came here to pray, uh, to pray at the foot of mother. Yes, the mother said, uh, but this time, her son is here. Immediately, the boy took over from the mother and said, Oh, Jesus, oh, uh, Mother Mary, Jesus, at this time around, oh, I report you to, to your mother Mary. Hear me now and restore my sight. The story that the Catholic Church know, they said automatically that boy blindness was healed. His sight was restored because he shouted on Jesus as they say you are here. Oh, hear me. If not, I report you to your mother. I pray for somebody today as we celebrate. There is no more reports. You don't need to report Jesus. Jesus has heard you. Because the mother is here. And through her wonderful intercession, your family is restored and blessed. And somebody will remain miraculous through Christ our Lord. May we rise to profess our faith. Page 3 of our bulletin, I believe in one God. Salvation. He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered dead and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom we have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophet. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. I look forward to the resurrection of the life of the world. Amen. Prayer of the faithful. 
God invites us to the banquet of wisdom and life. With confidence, then, let us pray. Our response shall be, Lord, hear our prayers. Lord, hear our prayers. That our prayer and work together as a church and parish community may be songs of thanksgiving to our gracious God. Let us pray to the Lord. That the ministers of our church and the leaders of nations may draw courage and understanding from the table of God's holy wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. That teachers and their students may in their studies and research discern the will of the Lord in all things. Let us pray to the Lord. that those suffering from any form of addiction or abuse may rebuild their lives in the hope of God's wisdom. Let us pray to the Lord. That the poor, the homeless, and the forgotten may be welcomed to our banquet tables. Let us pray to the Lord. that the faithful who have died may be raised up by Christ to the life of the Father. Let us pray to the Lord. That God will hear the prayers we now offer in the silence of our hearts and other intentions offered at the altar. Let us pray to the Lord. Prayer for Nigeria in distress. All powerful and merciful Father, you are the God of justice, love, and peace. You rule over all the nations of the earth. Power and might are in your hands, and no one can withstand you. We present our country, Nigeria, before you. We praise and thank you, for you are the source of all we have and are. We are sorry for all the sins we have committed and for the good deeds we have failed to do. In your loving forgiveness, keep us safe from the punishments we deserve. Lord, we are weighed down, not only by uncertainties, but also by moral, economic and political problems. Listen to the cries of your people who confidently turn to you. God of infinite goodness, our strength in adversity, our health in weakness, our comfort in sorrow. Be merciful to us, your people. Spare this nation, Nigeria, from chaos, anarchy, and doom. Bless us with your kingdom of justice, love, and peace. We ask this through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Let us now sum our petitions as we implore the intercession of Blessed Virgin Mary by praying. O oh God, in giving us your Son in the bread of the Eucharist, you have made us into your own body, one holy people bound by your love. May these prayers we offer and our work to make them come true, make us bread for all people and family to one another. We make this prayer through Christ our Lord.
Pray, brother, and that your sacrifice and mine will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May this oblation and tribute of homage rise up to you, O Lord, and through the intercession of the most blessed Virgin Mary, whom you assumed into heaven, may our hearts are flame with.